So today I have another great guest on, which is Mr. Pranit Thakur, who owns a great tool called Check Duck. I'm sure he does a lot more and there's a lot more skills to him, but for today's episode, we're going to be talking about Check Duck. So welcome to the show, Pranit, and thank you very much for coming on. Um, just to give a bit of background on you, Pranit, um, you're a guy that's very into PBNs. You've previously built PBNs and your own network of websites and everything like that over the years, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm basically into PBNs and expired domains only. So <laughs> even I got a blog, which is pbnguru.com, where I share about private blog network and expired domains to the community who don't know how these things work because there are many people who are coming daily into SEO and they wanted to know. So a lot of things come up into my mind. So I thought, why not start a blog where I share all this knowledge to the community? Good. Um, so for anyone watching, because uh, I get this all the time, I love PBNs and expired domain names. People always say, ah, that shit doesn't work anymore. Google will get you, um, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, in your opinion, do PBNs still work very well? Pardon? So in your opinion, um, do private blog networks still work? Are they still effective in 2020? Just, yeah. I love PBNs. I love expired domain names. Mm -hmm. I know they work, but I just want to hear your take on it. They, are they still working very well for you guys? Uh, so PB and private blog network is still effective because private blog network is same as a simple blog. Until there is contextual link as course is effective, till that private blog network is effective. You are taking a contextual link from a blog and nothing else, but it is owned by you and nothing else. But you have to hide that you own this blog and nothing else. So until contextual link is effective, at that time, private blog network is effective. And why does Google say private blog network? can give you a penalty because it's against Google term and a lot, a lot. But even Google can't detect private blog network if it is created perfectly. So Google tells that PBN can give you a penalty and avoid PBN. And they say because this can be a game change if it gets viral. So on they say there is a myth overall going on, but PBN still works even if 2020 or even if 2024 it would still work yeah um no, i just wanted to double check that um that they still work very well in your opinion you know i still use expired domain names pbns as part of mm -hmm. my strategy um but <coughs> we'll get on to the more important side of things which is a uh, year two obviously when we or building expired domain names or looking to build PBNs, we've got to try and find good domain names. And obviously that can be a tedious task, going manually to auctions, checking out the metrics um, and all the other kind of random checks that you might want to make, which is I'm assuming why you've made Check Duck. Um, you make that job easier. It pulls all the data into one dashboard and you're able to explore the expiring domain names from one dashboard, check the metrics, check the Wayback Machine, check a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you would be kind enough, Pranit, if you could share your screen, just so we can see the dashboard of your tool, and then if you could potentially just talk us through some of the functions and features that are on there that, that are key to finding the best expired domain names. Yeah, I can share you. So let me share screen for you. Share screen. So let me share it. Uh, share. So I'm right now sharing my screen. There so we go. This is the dashboard of CheckDuck. Yeah. What is CheckDuck is an expired domain analysis tool. So basically, 
you can add any expired domain into domain explorer and you can check out the metrics so if you found an expired domain you can add into this and enter domain and you need to submit it would take analyze and would tell you all the details there is a bulk domain explorer if you hunted more than one domains basically you would hunt more than one domains only it would be more than 100 only so there is a bulk domain explorer where you can add domains in bulk and it would analyze all the domains one by one and there is a, there is a domain history tab where it would tell all the domains analyzed by you in which we can you can check later on that i have analyzed this domain and what's the metrics of that domain and everything and here are some bonus tools we have we are daily adding some tools daily so here is the bulk domain availability tool which you can check out let me add some domain dot com dot com dot com you can click on submit domain like oh give me a second and uh one so let me check Now, oh, since there is an error for this bulk domain availability checker, right now, I guess, give me a second. Oh, right now, my developer is uh, updating the domain availability checker. Ah, I right. a message from him. Until then, you can see the Google mm -hmm. index checker and who is checker, where mm -hmm. you can get to know about who is detail of any domain. And yep. this domain from URL bulk. So, this tool, what does this tool give? You can add any domain dot com slash post name. Post name. You can add max two thousand and it would give you the domain name. If right. you export a domain list from AHF or any other tools, you can just trim it to the domain and copy the list. And you can directly add it into the bulk domain explorer and you can hunt. So let me add some domains some expired domains which i have bought recently this is one of the domain let me search it so this would analyze the whole domain and it would take a couple of seconds to analyze depending on the wayback data it would crawl all the wayback data and give you a matrix called clean score and on basis of links and other tank attacks and everything, there would be a, a matrix called domain score, which you can see here. And there is an, another matrix, which is link score. We have created this matrix. Uh, and you can get each and every detail about your domain, like first wayback data, last wayback data, total snapshot. And uh, so there is a, you have to check way back whenever you find expired domain using check that you don't have to check because if the clean score is above four you don't have to check it goes on with various filters there is 100 plus filters which is go through and decides the clean score metric yeah so above yeah. four just to confirm is good is clean yeah if the do clean score is above four then you can anytime go with this go with the domain cool so available register because i have recently registered this domain and is google index yes it's indexed in google and this is the very good feature 301 redirect found or not so basically yeah. we just call the way back and get data that it has been the 301 redirected or not so can I, can, you, can I ask you a question on the 301 redirect would yeah, that yeah, you can. is that is that scraping the wayback machine to see if there's ever been a 301 redirect or is that yeah. just the current state yeah 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 it's uh, on uh, way back data the mm -hmm. way back data tells us everything we call every each data each snapshot so we get to know about 301 redirection for that domain cool yeah so we can easily identify this 301 or not domain age five years domain drop count HTTPS. So, which pro which protocol should you install 
for this domain https and domain version getting back to domain statistic you should always go for domain which is clean score four and above yeah link score 1.5 and above and domain score which is 1.3 and above cool and you should always go for a domain which is less than 50 percent spam score yeah yeah and basically that you have to check referring domains and total backlink score it should be something like which looks real and not a spam just like if you got referring domain 200 and getting back in from 100k then it's pure surely spam you can just see the numbers and you can identify it's spam or not and after that you need to check the do follow no follow ratio do follow that is 91 and it's said like you need to check so yeah. the main nineteen. you need to check after that we also say which language it was in wayback and in wayback to which domain does the wayback link did link to so which was the outbound link to the domain so mm -hmm. we can get a fair estimate and then after that we can go to show top pages it would analyze and tell us the, all the top pages of the domain and trace so which, the do, which the links are made and you can see the show anchor text it would tell show the all the anchor text and every detail later on that you can go to show backlinks and check out the backlinks wire.com matchable the next web medium bp plan business .com tw and referring domain to get a more wider view and easier view here we can show domain score miss spam score backlinks how much backlink that domain is giving to you mm -hmm. and the other details and you can swipe below to check each and every domain this tool becomes a handy for you when it comes to expired domain analysis this tool gives all the details in one dashboard and it gives more details compared to other tools other competitors which are in the market yeah yeah and any other question which you feel like answering um well i quite i quite like the fact that it's scraping the way back data it's quite important that i know a domain name's not had a 301 redirect and um, so i think that's quite important and i think um being able to to be you know, being able to check some kind of form of spam scores, clean scores, and stuff like that helps that decision. Um, one question that we're we're always asked um, when we're doing PBNs or, or looking at the Wayback Machine is how do you restore a website from the Wayback Machine? I believe you are bringing out some kind of tool of service that that allows you to be able to quickly pull a website from there onto a domain name yeah 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 so basically right now what we do is we just download the html version of the site then edit it and upload it but every time uploading the html version of a site is a footprint so basically we just mixture it out into wordpress and html version we just go and check the top pages and we check on which permalink the links are made yeah we realize that same permalink and if, if it's not the home page it's some inner pages we made that page as power page we use them as power page and link that page to the money site we use that page as a power page to pass on the link juice to the money site and after that what we do we get some content from wayback machine wayback machine expired content from wayback Spire. machine and after that we post that expired content and set up everything create about us contact us in about us page we add a photo we go to fakedeepgenerator.com get some details add some details like address and everything and other other details of a site to which can pass citation that citation that it belongs to some real person and go to google and get some images not a famous person but non-famous person images and we just add it to the author bio and it looks like that this blog is owned by someone else yeah so you won't have to
to go for any other thing and after that what we are thinking to do is we're going to add another tool in bonus tool for our users where it would be a pbn deployer in which we're going to download wayback data into our own server and from there only you can export it to any hosting company or uh, any hosting pro pbn hosting provider and uh, there would be some tweaks like like uh, you can at the moment only you can insert insert your money blog url and some text content which can be added in home page or any other power pages which have links and you can at the same time remove all the outbound domains for that wayback data and outbound domains for the wayback data and and or you want to keep top authority domains you should be alive outgoing link should be alive you can keep that alive and then export it to the pbn also it all depends upon you that would be the uh, monash tool which should be added soon in this sector so it's become a lot easier for expired domain analysis analysis tool expired domain analyzer and a pbn a pbn boy callers in the market to deploy pbns in a second analyze domain and then deploy so tell me this i could potentially use check duck as a tool i could look at an expired domain name go to yeah. show top pages and i yeah, can yeah. copy and paste that content and get myself free content right yeah 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 you can go to short show top pages and then go to wayback and get the content restored yeah and what you, a, in which pardon what did you see there did you see there was a tool for this which pardon i can't get you so if i wanted to steal content from the yeah, 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 yeah. what you can do is you can just get uh, get it uh, get it done from the show top pages wayback machine or what i suggest you just hunt down some low authority domains in your niche and check out their wayback data and just copy that data and post it into your own blog because low authority domains would wouldn't be used as a pbn for anyone else so they won't be relived again uh, if they use they use be as a new blog so it's better to go with low authority domain to find expired content or you can use any expired content tool like expired.io and uh, ex expired content or anything but mm. this tool check the case all about expired domain analysis yeah um but i was just thinking of other ways <laughs> that your tool could be used with my own crazy yeah. mind but, yeah. um, this tool can be used in many other ways you just need some creativity because there are tools and everything just need creativity what yeah. you can do is you can get daily drop domain name check out that availability then you can add into by domain explorer right now it's 200 domain but we're going to increase in increase in upcoming days so you can click add domains and click on submit domains mm -hmm. uh, let me do it right now let me show you using expired domain.net let me go to expired domains with me now Let me show you live. Let me hunt down some tech domains. Here are the list. I just click on copy in Bio Domain Explorer. I just paste the domain, click on submit, close it, and let wait for the Bio Domain Explorer. to do the job right now you can see this error status which means that domain doesn't have any wayback data right yeah so which we work on a credit search basis so when it shows you shows you an error in status means that doesn't have any wayback data and credit for that search is it been deducted from your account until yeah. it's come so i have added 25 domain it's checking out everything 
and it would analyze each and every details for that domain in a query job one by one one by one and it would give you all the metric details so let's wait for that time till that i can tell you that i can show you other things like billing section you can head over to the billing section yeah you can here see subscription expiry expiry your total search credits remaining how much credits is in remaining and the one of the best feature is after you bought a subscription 14.9 or 24.9 34.99 $9 for a month yeah. after getting the subscription if if your credits per month gets uh, completed in a week or inside a month it would be it is completed you have used all the credit what you can do until you have a subscription you can just buy how much you want how much credits you want you can click on buy now yeah. and just buy the credits so it's like after getting a subscription it says pay as you go yeah so it's become easy for people so here we can see that expired uh, domain analysis job is completed so here we click on pause refresh and let me filter out the so clean score four and above link score none about domain score or and above so here are the domains which i have filtered it out so let me increase the metrics so i get more good domains link score two and above so here is the domain of bitech.com let me check that So clean score is four means the domain is not quite good. Link score it has been three zero one redirected. Spam score and everything. Show top pages. It will get some showing cut edge. Show the same domain. Digital journal station market wired start advertor. It's three, so basically this domain is 301 redirected mm -hmm. you can ignore this 301 redirection if the link score is above 2.5 yeah so it's the 301 redirect point why i'm saying that you can ignore it because the once the domain is 301 redirected all the link juice is passed to the money side but yeah. when the 301 stop it starts passing the link juice and if the link is live which means that the domain is still receiving 301. Though it has been used for 301, that the linkages won't be as same as earlier, but it can still be still powerful and can pass linkages. If the link score is good and domain score is good, then you can go with that 301 redirect now power domain also at any time. And uh, let me show you more. So it didn't take me a, it took me a couple of minutes only to found such good domains. Yeah. Google index. So basically damn easy. And pricing is also quite good for, for good and very low compared to any other tool, which is in that market. Yeah. So any other question which you wanted to ask me? No, I think that that keeps it simple um i don't want to confuse um people with that but i think overall just to recap for anyone listening to this is basically you can check the metrics of the domain name you can very quickly filter down the quality domain names and it's all pulled to one dashboard and your package price is 14.99 a month for was that fifteen thousand credits yeah, fourteen point not that fourteen point ninety nine dollar for five thousand such credits. Five thousand credits, twenty four ninety yeah. nine for fifteen thousand and yeah. thirty four ninety nine for thirty thousand. So one search is one credit. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I think you know what what you've clearly got here is a, a very good tool that helps identify those expired quality expired domain names um and gives you the opportunity to you know either you know do do any other things whether that's taking content from them um 
and you know check the redirects and I think for me one of the biggest selling points is the top um, the top pages part as well where you can check out the top pages so I think uh, overall it's a great tool that does a lot of great stuff and I'm sure you are going to be adding to it as you go as well so um, I'm sure it will do a lot more and yeah, your your thing, your domain availability is uh, all working fine as well. So it's a uh, yeah, a great tool overall. Um, and you know, there's there's you know, in terms of cost, I think there's no one can argue with the cost of it as well. It's very cost effective. Um, <coughs> so what yeah. I'll do, um. I'm going to get this blog transcribed. I'm going to get this all transcribed as well and release it as a blog post as well um, so that people um, who are looking for um, finding expired domain names are able to follow this video and, you know, do all the searches that you just done there. Um, but you you guys, I'm assuming, offer support to people who are maybe stuck. Yeah, you've got yeah, 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 yeah. We are offering them chat support. Yeah. So basically, if they got any doubt, any problems while hunting, they can just chat with us. If any of the user, if any of the member would be live, they would just reply you in second. So right now we are low in members, so we would try to reply you as soon as possible. But my majority of the time we replied in a, in a second only. Yeah. If it's every time, if it's night, sometimes not in the working hours, then it would take time for us to reply. But yeah. we will reply. So whenever you log into the dashboard, you click the here, you can see the chats history. So that's not an issue for if you if the reply is done by a little late, but it would be replied to each and every one. Cool. Well, that is a good roundup of CheckDuck. So you can find that on CheckDuck.com or you can reach out to them on the chat. But Pranit, thank you very much for taking the time to come on and show us the, the tool. And uh, as I say, hopefully it, all the best with it. It's it's quite a new tool. It's only been released in the past month or so. Uh, yeah. So fingers crossed that it continues to grow and evolve and, and turn into mm. you know an even better tool further down the line. So I look forward to watching the progress. Um, at, but as I say, thank you very much for coming on. Basically, what we can do is great. Uh, we can do a giveaway of check that silver plan to three of your users. Cool. Can do yeah. So okay. even your users, your audience can get to know about the tool, and some of the lucky winners can try it out. Perfect. So what I'll do is I'll release a release a little competition online. Um, I'll come up with something, um, and three people will get the silver plan yeah. uh, so i will talk with you off here and we'll come up with a little quiz type thing or something or, or something fun and we will make sure that anyone who's watched this um is in with a chance of getting access to one of those three plans that Pranit has kindly yeah. if you are thinking to try out the tool we are providing 25 domain searches for free mm -hmm. there is a code which you can find on checkduck.com share screen so people can see the coupon code you may second let me share you can check on checkduck.com in foot in footer you can see the domain name a domain name i'm saying you can see the coupon code in the footer yeah, so here is the coupon code free 25 credits APCK. You uh -huh. just need to add in the billing section, billing information. Here. Yeah, and click on apply. You would receive 25 domain searches. So you can try out this tool and yeah. be a regular user of this tool because this tool is worthy enough to reduce your time and do a lot of things for you for analyzing and everything. This can be a great tool to reduce your great time. I can say that you would like this tool for sure. Yeah. So give it a try. Free free credits. Make sure you scroll to the bottom and 
get that coupon code and give it a try. But as I say, thank you very much, Pranit, for coming on and look forward to seeing it grow.